Peggy and I want to welcome you to our worship and the traditional service and a special morning as we have our cantata. And we also want to welcome all of those that are worshiping online. It is truly a joy to be with you today. Um, Psalm 100 says, make a joyful noise to the Lord. Do you suppose that's going to happen today? Um, before we begin, I have a few announcements for you, um, and I will read them. Um, at this time, please register your attendance through the Church Center app. If you are worshiping with us in person, please use either the app or check in by filling out the form on the bottom of your bulletin. We were short on bulletins today because everyone came so beautifully. So if you are unable to um, register with the app or a bulletin, then please just visit the welcome station in the back and we'll record your attendance. Um, please be aware uh, that the balcony is set up for social distancing in the sanctuary. If you desire to be more intentional about social distancing, we encourage you to sit at the rear of the balcony um, as every other pew is closed off. And going back to the Welcome Center, if you are a visitor here with us today, it is truly our joy that you have come to celebrate. So we would like to invite you to go to the um, Welcome Center at the back and you can receive a gift and an ornament from us today. Um, if you have prayer requests, they can be submitted through the Church Center app or using the QR code or paper prayer cards are in the pews and you can complete them and place them in the offering plates later in the service. If you are worshiping with us from home or anywhere else today, um, we would like you to access the order of worship using the QR code on the screen. During the offering time, we will pass the offering plates for those that prefer to give in person. On the screens are the online way in which you can also give to support the various ministries of the church. And in the back of your pews, there are envelopes and information regarding the Christmas offering, um, if you would like to take part in that, supporting the ministries of our church. Um, at this time, please check to make, your, uh, make sure your phone is muted and turn your attention to the screens for our video announcement. Hello, church family. This is Pastor Mark here. We want to talk to you about Confirmation 2022. If you're a seventh grader and older and interested in becoming a church member through the confirmation process, we will begin our meeting for a parent and a student on January 9th. At 1145 in the cafe, this is an informational meeting. Uh, it gives you all the information about the whole confirmation season. And then class will start that next Sunday on January 16th through March 6th. We will have a retreat at Heartland Retreat Center on February 25th through 27th. Confirmation Sunday will be March 13th at both services. We have scholarships available. If you're interested, please go to quakeyouth.org slash confirmation. You'll find out all of the details registration right there. We are asking if you're able to register ahead of time so we can have enough supplies ready for that meeting. Please register by January 5th. Thank you guys so much. and We're looking forward to a great confirmation season. Will you pray with me, please? Gracious God, you are the mighty God of the universe and the lover of our souls. And we praise and we thank you that you are mindful of us, that you love us, that you are with us in this space. And we have prepared, Lord, to worship you this morning. For surely, um, Scripture tells us over a hundred times the importance of worshiping you with music. And that's what we're here to do today, Lord. So we pray that you would bless our offering of worship in this space. 
and that your spirit would move in a special new way, Lord, in the hearts and the minds of the people here and online, that we would have a deeper love and appreciation for you and your son, Jesus Christ. And we all say, amen. Please uh, stand at this time, and we, as the body of Christ, are going to begin worshiping with music, singing Good Christian Men Rejoice, hymn number 273. <laughs> who are going to be lighting our Advent wreath today. He will be called the Everlasting Father, who would send a baby to light a world with love, who would send a baby, a tiny child, when the world is hoping for the promised one, who would send his only son. During Advent, we wait for the coming Savior, who is our Everlasting Father. During Advent, we look to the one who knows our deepest thoughts. During Advent, we look to the one who cares for our deepest needs. During Advent, we look to the one who knows our innermost being. From everlasting to everlasting, you are God. Today, we light four candles. The first candle reminds us of our hope in knowing Jesus as our wonderful counselor. The second candle reminds us that Jesus is our Prince of Peace. The third candle reminds us of our joy, knowing that Jesus is our mighty God. We light the fourth candle, love, to remind us that Jesus is our everlasting Father and loves us with an everlasting love. In a world of change, mobility, and transition, we affirm that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Shall we pray? 
Gracious Lord, as we continue our Advent journey, we acknowledge that very little in our world stays the same. Thank you for being our everlasting Father who loves us and is eternally present with us. We pray this in the name of Christ, our Savior. Amen. And at this time, we will um, take part in our offering of our tithes and our givings. Um, again, the information for the Christmas offering is in front of you in the pew. Um, and we invite you to take a look at that as well. And our offering music is presented by our Ham Bell Choir.
joyful noise. Please be seated. At this time, we are going to release the children for kick. They certainly are welcome to stay, but we do have some children's programming prepared this morning. So just um, line up by Miss Denise in the back. And we do want to make an announcement that on the 26th of December, there will be no kick programming. We um, welcome the children to come and worship with the families that Sunday. As we begin our cantata this morning, we pray that you would be present in the beauty of the music, in the beauty of the story, and that you withhold your applause until the end. Will you pray with me, please? Lord, we praise and we thank you for Linda Forey and her worship team, for all of the beauty and the practices that have taken place over months, Lord, to glorify your name in this space. Lord, we trust in the mystery of our faith that in this time you will take us into deep waters of wisdom and truth about your goodness and your grace. So come, let your Holy Spirit rest in this place, new and fresh and tangible, and bless this offering to you today. And we all say, Amen.
Christmas, Noel, the revelation of Christ, the coming of the Messiah, the arrival of a king. This is the dawn of redemption for all people, love that descended from heaven to earth, and a miracle of life exceeding all imagination. The prophetic words of Isaiah hailed the news of Christ's impending birth. Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel, God with us. This child, this king who would change the world for all time, was about to be born. God in flesh, God the Son, born of Mary. And Mary said, My soul praises the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. In those days, Caesar Augustus issued a decree that a census should be taken of the entire Roman world, and everyone should return to the town of his origin to register. So Joseph went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house of David. He went with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him, and was expecting a child.
were shepherds lying out in the field nearby, keeping watch over their flocks. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all people. Today, in the town of Bethlehem, a Savior has been born to you. He is Christ the Lord. Suddenly, a great company of heavenly hosts appeared, and the angel said, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all. The shepherds hurried off and found Mary, Joseph, and the baby who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they were anxious to 
to spread the news about this child, and all who heard were amazed at what the shepherds told them. The shepherds returned glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen, which was just as they had been told.
Son of God, Jesus. Let us go and share this news of great joy to all the world. Jesus Christ is born.
my goodness. So uh, in, in the row up here with my family, my friend Scotty and I are looking at each other after each song wanting to go, yeah, <laughs> that was fantastic. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, girls. Thank you. My goodness. So appreciate it. If you're new, welcome. Just good to have you here. If you're watching online, thank you, thank you so much. My name's Nathan. I'm a senior pastor here. But uh, I thought about jumping in at the last minute and singing along with them. And then I looked at the score and I was like, uh uh, this is tough. And so thank you. And we've got folks from other churches that have jumped in with us. We've got some folks and friends of, of Corey. We've got Corey's family down here. Corey, you tag teamed with Linda to make this all possible. Thanks, brother. So appreciate that. It was fantastic. Man, awesome. And in just a second, you're going to have the fifth and sixth graders as a Christmas tradition here at the church. The fifth and sixth graders that are willing to memorize Luke 2 do so, and then they recite it for us. And so they're going to be getting ready. And uh, I think, are they around? Where are they? They're back this direction. Okay. All right. Fantastic. And Linda, you're going to have them all ready and everything. So let me just tie it all together for you. The beginning song you heard, Sing Noel. Sing Noel. And then the end song was Sing Noel. Noel course from the old French for Christmas. Sing Christmas. I'm glad they did. I'm glad these instrumentalists did. I think I peaked at trumpet in middle school and then I retired. So thank you for doing that and thanks for singing. Sing Christmas. So I just want you to be thinking about that because in a second the the fifth and sixth graders aren't singing it, they're reciting it. But isn't that just as a valid way of showing a response to Jesus the Christ at Christmas? Speaking the word. You may sing it, you may play an instrument, you may lead a business, you may care for a loved one, you may do something for a neighbor. In the book of Revelation, which we've been reading through the Bible, and at the end of the Bible, the book of Revelation, Jesus is the center focus. And in Revelation, he says, I am the first and I am the last. Guys, would you go to that next slide? He laid his right hand on me. This is John writing. John says he laid his right hand on me and he said, do not be afraid. I am the first and the last. I'm the living one. I died, but look, I'm alive forever and ever. And I hold the keys of death and the grave. Another part of Revelation, it says he's the alpha and the omega. Here he says the first and the last. First letter of the alphabet in Greek, last letter of the alphabet. He was with God in the beginning and he was God. And through him, all things were created. That's John's gospel. Through him, all things were created. Jesus is the beginning. He also holds the keys of, of, the, of the grave and of death, which means that he can let you out. He can give you resurrected life just as he is resurrected and living today. So he's the first and the last, and in the middle, he saves us by his death and his resurrection. And then the question is, will we sing Christmas? Will we sing Noel in response? What's your response? What are you going to do? What are you going to say? As the fifth and sixth graders come forward right now, come on up, guys, come on up. As they come up, I want you to think, how am I going to respond to that gospel message of Jesus, the Christ of Christmas? How am I going to respond? You can respond in love of God or not. It's your choice. Let's listen. Good morning, everyone. So this is the fifth and sixth grade Sunday school class. They have been working very diligently since the end of August to recite Luke 2 for you by memory. So I'm going to let them introduce each other, give your name and your grade, and then I hope you all enjoy. I'm Avery Rogers, and I'm in sixth grade. I'm Ava Rodman, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Braden Rugel, and I'm in fifth grade. My name is Lainey Kester, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Claire Bowman, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Emmeline Rars, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Desiree Gibbon, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Mackenzie Dameron, and I'm in fifth grade. I'm Leland Burns, and I'm in sixth grade. I'm Turner Smith, and I'm in sixth grade.
This was the first census that took place while Clemenius was governor of Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to Bethlehem, the town of David, because he belonged to the house and line of David. He went there to register with Mary, who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, a son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in the manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch of their flocks at night. An angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid. I bring you good news that will cause great joy for all the people. Today in the town of David, a Savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. When the angels had left them and gone to heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby, who was lying in the manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning what had been told them about this child. And all who heard it were amazed at what the shepherds said to them. But Mary treasured up all these things and pondered them in her heart. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things they had heard and seen, which were just as they had been told. On the eighth day, when it was time to circumcise the child, he was named Jesus, the name the angel had given him before he was conceived. <laughs> You know, on Christmas morning when you get a beautiful gift and you go, can I just on the count of three see everyone's face like that? One, two, three. You have just received a beautiful gift this morning. In fact, Caleb Allison actually said, more, mommy, more at the end. <laughs> May we all have hearts that say, more, more this Christmas as we have just received this beautiful gift. I'm going to give you a prayer of benediction, a sending prayer. Um, the choir is going to stay put and there will be a post loop, but you are free to go or to listen, whatever um, you need to do. But we um, are blessed people this morning. And the week before Christmas, we have so many opportunities to spread that light and joy in our community, in our homes, in our workplaces. So I am um, just going to pray over you now. Would you all stand, please? Hmm. Lord, every note, every musical instrument, every, everything that happened in this holy space today was such a gift to my heart and I know to all. Lord, it took us to deep, deep, deep waters of your love. And we'll never know how deep and how wide and how high your love is. Scripture tells us that, but ooh, I felt it today. And Lord, we praise and we thank you for that. And Lord, as your people prepare to go out in the world, I pray that you would just seal the good news that they receive today, that you would seal your love and seal your goodness and seal your grace in them, seal your light, so that as they go out into the world in this beautiful Christmas season, 
that all will know around them that your son lives to the glory of your name forever and ever. And we all say, Amen. God bless you all. Thank <laughs> you.